abstract artwork can be so overpriced. So let's DIY it for less. Hello guys, welcome back to another DIY. I'm starting with this 24 by 30 canvas I purchased from Walmart. It comes two in a pack. I believe I paid around $15 for them. I'm just starting with my base color and that color is white. I'm just gonna cover my canvas completely in this white paint. Here I just mix some of that white base paint I just used with a drop of black paint to get this light faint gray color. I'm taking a piece of foam and dabbing the paint randomly onto the canvas to achieve an abstract light effect. You could definitely achieve this look using a brush but I choose to use the foam because I don't want any harsh lines and I think the foam does a good job at blending it out. But I'm just going over this and making sure I add some definition with a little darker gray on top of the light gray. Once I feel my gray is to my liking I go ahead and freehand my design. This color you see me starting off with is a deep navy. It looks black on camera but I just added some black paint and blue paint together to achieve this color. Here you see me add a bit more blue into the paint. I did not switch paint brushes. I used the same brush. I just dipped it into a different color of blue. I'll continue freehanding this design until I get a look that I'm comfortable with. Once I'm satisfied with the way my design looks, I take another piece of that foam and I just go in and blend out my colors. I actually like the way it looks right now at this stage. This painting looks really good to me just the way it is. But if you're recreating this, you could stop right here. But I chose to add a bit of texture and glam to mine. Now, I know what you're thinking right here. This is starting to look a bit crazy, I know, but trust me, it gets better. What you see me doing here is going in with some metallic silver craft paint and I'm just freehanding again a second design.
Once that layer of metallic silver paint is dry, I trace over it with some school glue. I then take my paintbrush to spread out that layer of glue just to get it nice and even. These pebbles I have here are called glass fillers. These were small gold pebbles and I just use my craft metallic silver paint to paint them silver and I'm just going to spread an even amount of this over the glue. Here I'm just finishing up that last little section for the pebbles. I've decided to add a little more to my textured areas so what you see here is me adding a second layer of school glue and then I'll apply some silver leaf on top of that. I think it's important to mention that I made sure these pebbles were dry before I went over it with a second layer of glue and then I used a clean paint brush to smooth out that glue yet again and then carefully taking my Civilly sheet, I place it on top of the pebbles and using a clean dry paintbrush, I pat it into the surface. Once I was sure that that layer of glue was dry, I took my canvas outside and brushed away all the excess silver leaf. What you see me doing here is adding some splashes of paint. I wanted a lighter paint for this effect, so I mixed in 
some white with some blue and then I water it down really really good I'm just using a small paintbrush and allowing the drips to fall randomly on top of the blue areas only Now here's a step that I actually thought was necessary but I realized after I was done that it really was not and I'm just tipping off the edges of this canvas and then I'll take some black paint and paint the edges black only. I thought by doing this it would give my artwork a nice framed look but eventually I ended up framing it as well so this step was again unnecessary. At this point I thought my textured areas looked good as is but they could use a, just a little bit of sparkle so what I'm using here is just some some regular hairspray yes hairspray that I actually use on my hair I'm spraying only the textured areas and then with my hands I'm sprinkling some fine silver glitter I'm using it with my hands because when I used the bottle to sprinkle it on it was too heavy and I did not want a, a glittery effect I want it to be minimal as possible And guys once my glitter was dry here is my final result and of course I made a set of two as always I think these turned out pretty good I've had these canvases for quite a while now and I knew I wanted to do a painting I just did not know exactly what design but I'm pretty pleased with the outcome of these I tried to replicate my design, what I did on one, I did on the other. I know they don't look exactly the same, but they are pretty close. For a different effect, I tried flipping one upside down. If you've noticed, my canvases are framed and I actually DIY'd them as well. You probably won't believe what I used. But if you'd like to see, make sure to hit that bell so you won't miss out. I'll be posting that video coming up soon. I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you decide to come back for more. But until then, take care. Bye.